In this video, I will teach you how to set page margins in LaTeX. Understanding LaTeX margins is important but also sometimes very confusing. In this video, I will try to explain few things which directly relate to LaTeX margins and by understanding those things, hopefully you will get a better understanding of using margins. So let's dive into it. We start from a very basic LaTeX program which has three lines. You have to mention a class which you want to use with a statement document class begin document and end document and if you produce pdf this will be an empty pdf so this document class also can contain some options so this is the picture which shows a document class and then square brackets and within these square brackets you can put some of these options whatever options you want and within this curly brackets you have to put the name of the class latex class so there are four popular latex classes book article report and letter and these options which you can put in these square brackets are shown in this area so you will put one of font sizes by default is 10 point you can put 11 and 12 point and why i'm telling this why i'm showing these options in the margin tutorial because these options font size and paper size options they affect the default margin sizes and latex takes the default margin sizes depending on what font size and what paper size you are using and also what book or article or report class so what class you are using and what font size and paper size so these three are very important and uh, uh, the other uh, options I just mentioned here uh, just to for the sake of completeness uh, that you can you know that what other options you can put one column or two column document whether it's a landscape document or whether it's just a draft document so that later can compile it quickly for you when it is in the draft mode. So these are some of the options. And now we go back to our program again and in this program today I want to put some uh, dummy text so in order to do that I have to use a package uh, which is called lipsum uh, lipsum for lorem ipsum dummy text which you might have seen on other websites so I will use use package lipsum and once you put this statement then you can use a different paragraph from this uh, uh, dummy text so I want to use just four or five paragraphs so I would say lipsum and then in the curly brackets one to five means paragraph one to five of the dummy text and now the document will play some dummy text for me and the second package I want to use is called layout package and this package helps us to understand our layout the document layout and I will show you in a minute uh, what it means so first let us compile this document and now as you can see that we have this dummy text placed inside our document and now I want to see what is the default layout of my page so for that I have to put a statement layout backslash layout and this layout package provides us this statement and if I compile now now you can see that we have this picture here and this picture is coming due to layout statement and it is showing us the layout of our page so this has few things here which I will explain in this video but first I want to know what page size is this what is the default page size because as you can see here as you can see that in this document class I have not given any of the page sizes there is no square bracket this is allowed you can uh, have no option so I am not putting any page size so which page size is this and now once again if you look at the page size at the bottom you will see this paper width equals 614 points and paper height is this so what is this point unit so let me show you what are some of the latex units and then we will talk about these margins and other layout these are some of the lengths available in latex centimeter denoted by cm millimeter with mm inches with in and pt is for point and the thickness of the point you can imagine that in one inch there are 72.27 points so it is roughly one divided by 72th part of an inch 
There is also a unit BP, which is big point, which is exactly uh, 1 divided by 72 of an inch. But normally we use this PT, which is a little bit different. There is also a unit PC, Pika, which is 12 points. You will also see in latex sometimes M, EM. And this unit is also a length unit, but this is a font specific size. Whatever font you are using, this is the width of capital M. Similarly, EX is the height of letter X in the given font which you are using. So these were some of the units. So one last thing is these page sizes. So these are some of the page sizes available in latex. My distribution, takes letter paper by default. So if I don't uh, provide any option in document class, the paper size will be letter paper. And in point dimension, if you look here, I have just converted this into inches into point by multiplying 72.27 and then roughly putting the values. These are the round values in points. So if you look at letter paper, it has 794 multiplied by 614. So this is the height of the paper. This is the width of the paper. And now again, if we look at our layout, you will see that this is also 614 and 794. So this confirms. So why not put A4 here, A4 paper and see what this layout statement shows us. If I compile again, and now the paper width and paper height has been changed. And if we look at our chart, as you can see that A4 paper has 845 multiplied by 597, which are the same as these values. So this is one thing you should be uh, taking care of that which is the paper size. If you are not uh, putting a paper size, it doesn't necessarily means that your distribution is also taking letter paper. It is distribution dependent, sometimes A4 or letter, so you must check first. Now, there is no font size here and by default, LaTeX takes 10 point font size and this will also affect the default margin sizes. So now let's look at what are the margin sizes. There is a reference line at one inch from the left and one inch from the top and the actual margin is this one plus this dimension three whatever is the value of three. So this one is one inch. And if we look at this three, this three is 79 point, which is a little bit more than one inch because one inch is about 72. So it means this paper, this page at the moment has one inch plus a little more than one inch. So this is the default value for A4 paper, the margin, the actual margin. And if you look, the, what is this three? This is called even side margin because we are using a book class. So on the left hand side, we have even pages and on the right hand side, we have odd pages. This is always true. So this is the margin of our left hand side page. And these values, all these values, top margin, head separation, text width, all these values are called page layout parameters. And you can directly change these parameters. So this is the first way of setting the page margins in LaTeX by manually putting the margins. So how we do that? Let's say that you want this margin, this three value, not 79 point, but just uh, zero point, let's say zero point, so that your margin will be exactly one inch because if this three value goes to zero point then your margin will be one inch so how to change this three value to zero instead of 79 and the statement to change these values should be put in this preamble area preamble is the area before this begin document add to length backslash add to length and then we start the curly braces two pair of curly braces and in the first pair we put the name of the page layout parameter which was even side margin and now we say minus 79 point so we are asking latex that whatever is the current length of this even side margin you add this minus 79 point to that so 79 is already there. If we add minus 79, this three value will become zero and our margin will become exactly one inch. So now if I compile and now we look at this three value, now three value has become zero. And 
here you will see that margin is no 1 inch because this 3 has no width, no length, whatever you say it, width or length, it's 0. This is the manual way of setting the margins in LaTeX, that you just change whatever parameter you want. Let's say we want the top margin to be exactly 1 inch. So we want this 4 to be 0 and this 5 to be 0 and this 6 to be 0. 4, 5 and 6, 0. So what are these 4, 5, 6 values? Just look at this layout. 4 is 23 top margin, 5 is head height 12 point and 6 is head separation 18 point. We will just copy these 3 times top margin. The second was head height and head height was 12 point minus 12 and then head separation and it was 18 point so we minus 18 and now if I compile now you will see that we get exactly 1 inch because all other values we have changed these values to 0. So this is the manual way of adjusting your margins modify the values as you wish so this is the manual way which is a little bit uh, sometime cumbersome because you have to now change a lot of values so therefore the second alternative is to by using a package and the package we can use is called geometry package so we can say use package and then we say margins equals let's say 50 point and then we put the name of the package and now I just comment all these so, so that we can see the effect of only this command instead of all this. So I right click, I insert comment, put all margins equal to 50 point. We have to put this with a single and it will take all the four wall, uh, margins. So now as you can see that all of our margins are 50 points in every direction. So this is the quickest way to set the margins. And now if you look at the value of 3, so you will see that this 3 is minus 22 point because this is 1 inch reference line and 1 inch is roughly 72 point and therefore this 3 location of the 3 is minus 22 point. So this is minus 22 because our margin is 50 point only this edge. Uh, if you don't want all margins to be same, you can change the margins like left equals 50 point right equals 100 point, bottom equals 75 point, top equals 50 point. So you can also set all these margins individually, compile and now we have all different varying margins. Whatever we want we can put these values and then you can look at these uh, layout parameters and you can see whether uh, you want to still manipulate a little bit or you are happy with your margins. So this is the easiest way to change the margins but you should also understand how this layout works because if you want to format a document for any of your clients who want some margin notes and some other things then sometimes you have to use this layout because you want a very close uh, plus minus in these values. So therefore both of these val uh, methods are very useful whatever method you want to set the LaTeX margins. So I hope you like this video if so please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to get notified whenever I post a brand new video on this YouTube channel every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks for watching.